Welcome back to Firestorm Games and another Games Workshop unboxing video. This time we're taking a look at one of the new releases for Kill Team, the Tooth Rippers crew. As usual, we'll be taking a look at the contents before moving on to the miniatures themselves. So, let's get started. Much like the regular Kill Team boxes that we saw released after the game's launch, this contains a self-contained Elite Orc team. However, I should note that in order to use these models, you'll need to pick up the new recently released Kill Team Elite rulebook as well. There are no Kill Team Elite rules in this set. So even though we are lacking on the rule side of things, we do receive some miniatures and scenery, which we'll be looking at later, but we also get all the gaming aids for playing these Elite Orcs and Kill Team. These include the 8-page Tooth Rippers Crew background book. This gives you a basic overview of the fluffy side of the Kill Teams and is a nice way to build some character for the models. Next, we have 14 Orc Tactics cards, one of which is exclusive to this particular set. It basically works in conjunction with the scenery found in the set, as well as the orcs in here as well. We also have some data cards for the flash kits which are found in this set, which are a handy reference point for playing your games of Kill Team, as it means you don't need to keep on flicking back to your rulebook. There are five pre-made data cards for the five miniatures in the set, and there are also five blank cards that you can use to create your own Kill Team. Finally, we have two large mission cards, one narrative and one match play missions. Each card details the mission parameters on one side, and the layout and mission-specific tactics on the other. The token sheets that we have are double-sided, and are your standard card stock, printed in a suitably orky colour and style. If you own the Orc Kill Team box set, then you will already be pretty familiar with these. In terms of the miniatures, we first of all have the scenery. These are from the Sector Sanctorus ruins, which were previously only available as part of the Urban Conquest set. So it's nice to see that these have some alternative sources for this terrain. They are styled around the Imperial ruins found in the Kill Team start set, so it will fit nicely with your existing collection. However, they're not full buildings and are more instead a scatter terrain, the fallen statues and ruined walls being perfect for breaking up line of sight and adding more character to a ruined cityscape. Next up, we have the flash kits themselves that make up this kill team. Now, this kit has already been knocking around for a while, but as it's something we've not covered on this channel before, let's take a closer look at them. In this set, you have enough components to build five flash kits, including some components that will allow you to build one as a captain. Each of these flash kits are equipped with snaz guns, easily the most customizable weapon of any kit in the Warhammer range. Basically, the snaz gun starts out as a fairly bland rectangle attached to an orc arm. Then, using the vast myriad of different parts, you can construct your own orc weaponry. These options include various muzzles, ammo hoppers, scopes, and underslung weaponry. Because the builds are modular, you can build the guns however you like, which means you're very much unlikely to ever have the same gun twice. The customization options don't just stop there. We get a varied range of heads and shoulder pads to choose from too, both of which lead into the piratical theme of the flash kits. We have various bandanas, tricorn hats, eye patches, cutlasses, peg legs, and even a shoulder-mounted targeting squig in lieu of a parrot. Overall, it's a great looking kit with a vast array of options. The fact that the set is rendered in green plastic is also useful, as it means if you have neither the time nor the desire to paint, you can still easily identify your kill team on the battlefield. And here we have the fully built flash kit, next to some of the Sector Sanctorus scenery. If you're looking to start an orc kill team or to expand on a current one with some elite choices, then Tooth Ripper's crew is a great choice. You get a good selection of miniatures as well as some scenery and all of the tokens and cards you need to field your kill team. It's also quite reasonably priced as the flash kits alone make up for 80% of the set's RRP, which makes the tokens, cards and ruins reasonably inexpensive. Now if you're looking to pick up Tooth Ripper's crew box for yourself, the RRP is £40, but it's currently available on the Firestone Games web store for at least 10% off that RRP, and you'll find a link to its page in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to be kept up to date with all of our latest videos. So we just want to say a big thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.